So we're well into 2023 now, and if you're watching this video, you probably want to get that New Year's goal going. And I'm also assuming you probably want to start a dropshipping store or an e-commerce brand. I started dropshipping back in 2018, and it's now 2023, so so much has changed over the years, and there's a lot of things that have come out of dropshipping that are really good, and a lot of things that are really bad or a little bit harder to start now. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps that I would take if I had to start all over from scratch and I wanted to build a successful e-com brand. Now I'm gonna lay out all the steps and talk about them in pretty good detail, but each of the steps that I talk about in this video, I do have full length videos on, so make sure to check those out. After. All right, with that being said, let's get right into the video, into the first step. So the first step I would take, if you're brand new to dropshipping and you have no idea really what it's about or how it works, is consume as much content as possible. I know a lot of people will see dropshipping on like a TikTok video or something and just get all excited about it and jump right into it without really knowing anything about it. You can definitely do this and learn as you go, but I do think it's pretty important to get an understanding of dropshipping and how it works in general. And also knowing that it's a logistics model rather than a business model, which a lot of people don't really talk about. So if you're on the very first step and you don't really know too much about dropshipping, I really encourage you to watch a lot of my other videos to learn exactly how it looks on the back end, some strategies that are working well in 2023, some products to sell, what niches to avoid, what niches to get into. Those videos will give you a good understanding about how it works and what you can expect going forward. You're definitely gonna wanna take notes along the way because it's a ton of information and when you reach a point to where you're stuck at something you can always revert back to your notes and hopefully you've got it covered there now the second thing that i would do is research some products that you might want to sell and some niches as well and i think this is really important and a good first step because you do need to find a product that you want to sell or start testing or trying to sell this product and it's also really important to look into niches because i always tell people when they're starting a dropshipping brand or an e-commerce store to pick a niche that they're at least knowledgeable in or have some passion in because it's going to make it so much more fun you're going to understand what ads are going to convert what you'd want to see as a potential customer it just makes the whole process and journey a lot easier and a lot more fun now again if you're looking for a product research video i do have a really good one on my channel so make sure to check that out i'll have it in the description below so you can watch all those videos after this one let's say you settled on a product or you found a niche that you want to sell in the next step would be to actually build your website now you can start your store on shopify it's the most commonly used one for drop shipping specifically and you can start a shopify store for fairly cheap i do have a dollar discount for three months plan in the description down below if you want to check that out and use it. Now building a website is probably the most time consuming thing to do in the beginning. There's a lot of things that you have to set up, the shipping, the payments, all the business and tax settings, the landing page, the home page, all that stuff. That's going to take up a lot of your time. Now, if you're not that comfortable in Shopify and you do want to skip this whole process, you can purchase a website, but in the end, you're going to need to learn how to make some changes along the way because you're not going to want to hire a developer every single time that you need something switched on the website. So keep that in mind, but that is an option. So pretending I'm starting all over again, I've landed on a product that I want to sell. I've built out the website and I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty converting. The next thing that I would personally do in 2023 is order the product directly to my house. Some of the benefits of ordering the product to your house is that you can take some of the product photos yourself, but more importantly, you can start creating ads with the product. Now, UGC style videos, which is user generated content is extremely popular on TikTok and Instagram reels. And it's kind of taking over 2022 and taking over 2023. And the best part about this kind of ad is that you don't really need any fancy camera at all. All you really need is like an iPhone or really any camera will do. So now when you order the product to your house, I'd start creating some ads with it. I would look up some brands that you want to kind of mimic and take their ideas from TikTok and start filming them on your phone. Uh, honestly, I'd probably spend like one to three hours nonstop just filming, getting a bunch of clips that you can repurpose, reorganize and put together, do like a voiceover or something like that. I'll show you a quick TikTok UGC style content that I created that generated me like $3,000, just about a little over in sales in like two weeks. This was for a challenge video that I did on YouTube. So if you wanna check that out after you can watch that as well, but we'll watch the ad here really quick. It got 30,000 likes and so not really bad at all. It actually went pretty viral. I actually got an offer from Apple for $5 million for the design, but I turned it down immediately because I know what this is worth, bro. So super simple, right? The product was a laser putter and we just filmed the content on some turf that I had in my house and it worked out really well. So that's how simple you need to make these products. They don't have to be overly complicated. The biggest thing that you have to focus on is trends and sounds and getting that viral video. All right, we're gonna take a quick break to thank today's sponsor of the video. So we all know Valentine's Day is coming up and USA Drop is providing reliable and fast shipping for dropshipping Valentine's Day products. So right now, USA Drop has two gift boxes available. One is the LA style and one is the New York style. The New York style comes with a black pajama 
pajama set as well as a black candle. You also get a keychain and a temporary tattoo QR code that you can scan with a custom message. Now the Valentine's Day LA style is the same exact package but with lighter colors, more of browns and creams. So with USA Drop having very fast shipping, their cutoff date is all the way up until February 5th, so you can order your products with no worry, they will get there before Valentine's Day. So what is USA Drop? Well, they're a fulfillment and agent company with over 10 years of dropshipping experience. So even if you're not up and ready for Valentine's Day, but you're looking for a supplier with fast and reliable shipping, custom packaging, and more, make sure to check out USA Drop. I'll have a link down below in the description. All right, now back to the video. Now, after you've done the previous steps, the next thing that you wanna do before you even start posting any content and trying to get sales is finding a reliable supplier. There are so many ways to find suppliers now in 2023 compared to when I started in 2018. It was pretty much AliExpress or nothing. But now you can really find so many different valuable suppliers on places like Zendrop, CJ Dropshipping, and still on AliExpress. There's really endless amounts of new websites and platforms that are providing dropshipping suppliers to dropshippers like us. But when I say find a reliable supplier, what you need to do is to make sure that the supplier has really good communication, especially with pricing, shipping, shipping times. This is one of the most important relationships that you want to build when you're starting a dropshipping business. If you can make a ton of sales, but your supplier sucks, you're gonna have such a headache with all the customer service issues and the returns shipments getting lost or they're taking a lot longer than you promised. This is definitely one of the most important things when starting off, but it's really hard to find a good supplier, right? Because a lot of them don't have that great of communication. They kind of lie sometimes. There's a lot of people that say that they're shipping things from the US, but it's really coming from China and takes like four months. You have to avoid that, order a test product to your house from that supplier, build up that communication and make sure that they're really reliable. And there's no really quick way around that. You kind of just have to go through a trial and error process until you find the right one. And once you do, you're pretty much gonna keep them forever. I've been using the same supplier for almost five years now. So now you've got your supplier locked down, your website's ready to go, you've got some UGC content ready to post. So what I would do next is create my business accounts for TikTok as well as Instagram, and then post three times a day on Instagram Reels and three times a day on TikTok. It's gonna take a lot of posting, maybe a week, maybe two weeks before you start picking up some momentum. But then after that, it's gonna snowball. And during this process, you're gonna learn what's the most engaging to the customers or the people watching on TikTok or Instagram, you usually learn what's engaging by following trends or switching up the first hook or the first clip of the video. And you start to learn what's really capturing the audience's eyes. And once you figure that out, it really snowballs from there. You can post variations of the video and to see which one does the best and keep A-B testing and optimizing it. Now, hopefully if you've been posting for like a week or two, you'll get a viral video and hopefully you start seeing some sales roll in. Now, organic traffic is great. You can get a lot of revenue for little to no money spent. And then it's pretty much all profit. I mean, you have to pay for the product. So it's usually like 60 to 80% profit margins, which is great. But the problem with organic is that you can't guarantee a viral video every single day. So your sales are gonna be pretty inconsistent. Now what I would do after that is take the five most viral videos on TikTok or Instagram and repurpose them into paid traffic. You can run paid traffic on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Those are the ones I really recommend in 2023. And hopefully if you got some viral videos from your organic traffic, you got some sales coming in and you can use that revenue to pay for that paid traffic. Now paid traffic is a little bit trickier. You do have to monitor a lot more. You also have to know that you're paying for traffic. So you're profit margins are gonna be a little bit lower. But what's good about that is it's very scalable and it's very consistent and you don't really have to worry about trying to get that next viral video every single day. Now, hopefully at this step, you're running both organic and paid traffic and you're starting to see your sales increase week over week. But don't stop there. You can't keep just using the same ads over and over again. And eventually the frequency is gonna to get too high. Too many people are gonna see those ads and your conversion rate is gonna to start to lower. So you always have to be testing new products and new ad creatives. Now, if you wanna test new products, make sure to update your website so it actually fits in with your website and it doesn't look weird that you're selling this product that's alongside another completely different product, right? I really recommend keeping it within the same niche. Now repeat that process and do exactly what you did the first time, start ordering the product to your house, filming the content, and then posting organically, moving it over into paid, and then repeat. Or if you think your product is like the best product in the world and sales are not slowing down, then I would recommend branding out that product. So I'd invest a little bit more on your website to make it look really, really branded. I'd also consider private labeling the product or branding some packaging on the product. So it's a really premium service and you're turning out to be a full e-com brand. Now, hopefully your dropshipping or e-com brand is up and running, but don't stop here. You always should be A-B testing because there's always new ways to advertise. There's always things that you can improve on. And I definitely recommend and reinvesting into your business. These are the exact steps that I would take if I started dropshipping right now in 2023. And again, I talk about all of these steps way more in detail on my YouTube channel. So make sure to check that out if you guys want those full length tutorials. I hope that this video helped you out, especially if you're a beginner. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below on what video you wanna see next. All right, as always, have a great rest of your day.